Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se episode number 11. All right, uh, the previous episode, uh, we had the friendly match between uh, Miyuki and Shizuku and uh, Shizuku lost and Miyuki with obviously like Miyuki has a lot of high level skills, uh, high level spells, but at the same time, Shizuku also was prepared enough to actually face her with Tatsuya's help. And she has been like you know uh, preparing for this day from quite a long while ago I think two weeks they said because she was confident enough that she'll be able to win up until the end and she was also confident enough that Miyuki will also be able to win so she knew that they're going to meet at the finals and she was going to ask for this friendly match and uh, yeah like this was like her main um, goal you know like so she was ready for it but unfortunately time was very little Tatsuya also said so it was like you know Shizuku's plan was uh, unable to be properly utilized because she was not prepared enough and uh, yeah Shizuku lost uh, she obviously like, she would feel bad she and Honoka had a conversation and by the end of it everything was okay they you know they're all all right now and uh, yeah that was a good thing and after that we getting the mirage bat event it barely started and i'm sure we're going to see more in this episode but before that in the monolith uh, monolith code event uh the males the rookie males i'm not sure what like you know the whole building kind of like blasted off and i'm guess guessing we're going to see a little bit of that you know what happened we also saw this in red tose we're going to see a little bit of that and then i'm sure we're going to switch again to Mirage bat. So let's see what this episode brings. With. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 11 of Mahoka Koko no Yutose. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, it's loud. Okay. Battering Ram Okay What? What's the... Excellent. Wait Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> boy. Wonder, are they going to show everything? Like what happens after this? Like, I don't think they don't have enough time to show off everything. Like, yeah, I think they'll probably stop at um the mirage bad event after it ends yeah that will be for like this this anime has like 13 episodes i think yeah this is the 11th episode so this episode and two more episodes so i doubt they will be able to show everything so yeah i think up until the mirage bad they'll kind of cover and maybe they'll like fast forward it because everything we've seen from red tose they might do that, so... But I think it will at least take two more episodes to completely show Mirage Bat. Or who knows. Let's see. Oh. 
all right here we go brother good luck oh maybe we are going to see that's match let's see okay hmm Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, we are already at the final. Okay. Oh, this might end. Quick, oh no, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Like efficient, uh, what can I say? Efficient work. <laughs> All right. Honoka, oh, Honoka. Wow, Honoka and Super, both of them. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Oh. What's happening? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh, they are going to. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well. More than competent, true. Well, because, yeah, but, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he he will like. He he's the best option out of. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he has some ideas. There you go. Yeah. I was disqualified for yeah but uh... oh. hmm.
Oh no. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here I thought she was going to say something like this. Like <laughs> even in the previous <laughs> like the whole detective club thing. <laughs> like how the hell <laughs> did you know? <laughs> oh boy. Strategy. <laughs> Three possible scenarios. Sabotage direct. Yeah. But Hmm. During the match, oh. <laughs> okay, Muke is here, I'm guessing nothing bad will happen. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so okay, event final day. <laughs> well, patrolling. Hi. Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Mikiko and Leon kind of look different completely from like I, I wasn't able to even recognize them first when he, Leon said her name uh, his name I realized oh that's Mikiko okay we are going to see this aren't we I was thinking like they won't show it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <They're really> weird <laughs> keeping an eye on everything there you go okay they're kind of showing it in this way like a montage i think
Okay. There you go. Yeah, they did not show us, but that was one of the best fights I've seen in Reto Se. Like, you know, Crimson Prince versus Tatsuya. Like, I really loved it. But I knew they, it won't show us in this. <laughs> what? 91? Oh! Wait, what the? Oh! <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shizuku's face. <laughs> oh boy, you... Yeah. Hmm. What the? Well, you'll see. You'll see. What? Oh. Okay, well, Miki probably Mikiko will also be able to able to detect it like Ancient magic. Hmm, maybe. But uh, Tasha's match is over, so like, what are they even going to sabotage? Hmm. Let the water seep out. Okay, so they're not directly interfering with Tasia, they're going to do something else. Otherwise, they'll suspect them. Water. What? Oh! Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the match is still ongoing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. They have not. Oh, the match has not started yet. I was thinking the match is over. Hmm. <laughs> Diabolical. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, she can freeze it. Boy. Ah! <laughs> yeah, these won't work. Are you like... What?
Well, that's as I just said, yeah. <laughs> they sent a few people with guns like what are they even going to do okay Wow, so these type of things were happening behind the scenes. Like, we didn't even know that in Reto, say, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, okay, well... Yeah, she loves so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is the final match now. Like Okay. <laughs> oh, he realized. Okay, the the whole thing. Oh boy. Oh great. Okay. Yeah, there you go. They're not going to show us. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. Ah, oh, they're going to... Oh my god. The, the match in Retose was fantastic. I really... It is one of the best, you know, fight scenes in Mahoka. And obviously they did not show us that here. It's a shame, but... You know, like... For more information, go to Retose. <laughs> Something like that. Whoa, they're zooming on! What the hell? They're zooming on her! <laughs> okay, there you go. Alright. Okay, they kind of like uh, sh showed us a little bit of the monolith code and I thought they would, wouldn't uh, like you know actually show us they would be like Give us a little and they kind of did that a little uh, montage and yeah But Yeah, as always like you know <laughs> Tasya is just <laughs> Unstoppable so It was obvious that he was going to win And yeah, and I don't know what would have happened if Miyuki actually did not, Miyuki and uh, you know, all the others, they did not uh, freeze the whole thing, like you know, the, like the sabotage, was, if it was still there, I wonder what would have happened, I doubt it would have posed a threat to Tasa, it would have probably been an annoyance for him, like you know, to actually counteract that and then at the same time fight using his full powers and win the match 
it would have been just a little bit of extra work for him that's just it i doubt it would have like made him lose so but you know like it helped and that's why that's why i said that yeah like i we, we can't lose this one <laughs> right that's it okay so the whole thing with the no head uh, no heads dragon that thing like, you know we, we get to see it again and them like you know because of their own merits and their uh like you know them losing a lot of money if first high wins uh they obviously they are like yeah we need to stop this and i doubt they actually care about who's going to win this match they just doesn't want a certain you know a certain school to win because you know they i'm, I'm sure they have put their money on the other school so something like that so yeah as, as always like you know like uh they kind of mess with tries to mess with the whole thing and they kind of succeed in it as well in the rookie event uh you know uh where I forgot his, what was his name moriyama wasn't it yeah that guy you know his match where the whole explosion happens the battering ram or something like that that thing and yeah they're able to stop them but then Simon's just like you know what we need to bring out the big guns <laughs> put in Tatsuya <laughs> in the match as a substitute and yeah that's all that it need it, it, it was needed and uh, yeah okay so the uh, that was that and the whole mirage pet we see like you know the rookie event where Subaru and um, Honoka yeah Honoka wasn't it yeah just a sec. Was it Subaru and Honoka who won? Yeah, yeah, Subaru and Honoka. Uh, they won. Mm. Honoka was first and Subaru was second. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so this thing I think they did. I can't remember if they showed us in Reto say the whole thing. Nah, I, they did not show us the whole thing of them actually realizing, like, you know, Amy and the crew that this type of thing is being is happening people are sabotaging them that's why since Tatsuya helped them so much we're also going to help Tatsuya um and you know Miyuki also participating in the whole like patrolling thing and all and then like you know a lot of things actually happened in the background and not only that but also like them meeting um, uh Airi. that was her name yeah Airi Toka so meeting them and them also kind of getting involved in this them also helping them and yeah the all of these was, was definitely not shown and I, we didn't even know that this happened in the background like you know so yeah that was a good like you know like that was a, quite a bit of help for Tatsu at least uh it probably you know like <laughs> if if uh, they didn't actually do this like you know try to stop this whole sabotage thing if if uh, the sabotage was still there. Um, I'm guessing Tasso would have have to use like uh, would have have to use like how much? Forty uh, percent of his power. <laughs> but since the sabotage was not like you know there, he had to use thirty percent of his power. So you know, I guess <laughs> it was still a help because I I cannot really see Tasso losing. You know at 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 a match like this because of what happened later on in Retose, you know uh the last few episodes of Retose and also Retose season two like the way we see tatsuya there this this whole monolith code event uh you know match doesn't even seem that much of a problem you know like however people try to mess with them or sabotage them nah i don't think tatsuya would have you know it would have we would have faced any problems here so but still as i said like you know it kind of helped him in a way and he you know became more determined to actually win this because obviously milky <clears throat> helped you know helped behind the scenes and when tasa was uh you know like kind of checking the ground not checking the ground but you know trying to uh sense stuff when he Kind of kneeled on the ground and touched it and tried to sense everything 
uh, I'm sure he realized the water, like, you know, the, the water has been frozen and he connected the dots from that and he realized that, yeah, this is Muki's work that probably must mean that no head dragons had actually tried to sabotage us. Muki anticipated that and actually helped us. So yeah, we cannot lose at this. So yeah okay and now obviously we can see like you know like the id and the others um <clears throat> they've all like we've always been seeing this they're quite honorable and according like you know like in her eyes she it believes like obviously she believes that uh whoever is doing this sabotaging thing is uh like, you know like it's, it's trying to interfere in this match where people actually go all out like it'll give uh they're, they're just giving some other team an unfair advantage and that's not how matches should be uh fought like people you know like no like no cheating like they're, they're basically like this is somehow like they're you know cheating it'll be so in a way to like you know for her own ideals and everything she decided to help them out because you know like we can we, we've always seen her being a person who has been uh you know who has a high sense of justice and we can see that again where she actually decided to help Nuki and them um, fight off the saboteurs sab saboteurs is that what they're called i think so people who sabotage you know those people and uh, yeah and obviously like Nuki and all of them were involved in this nothing was a problem and like if i it would have been a kind of a little concern if amy and all the others themselves tried to handle this but it, it's a good thing that they actually told Nuki about this because all of these things uh, that was happening that were happening here even though these people actually uh like you know <laughs> sent a few people with guns to handle them like I doubt even if I doubt if if uh, like you know if Muki was even not there here helping them, I doubt that it would have posed a problem for them. So, but still, you know, like it, it's kind of for safety because in in the, one of the in the previous like, scene, like you know, in, in the previous instance where Amy and all of them tried to handle everything on their own, uh, it, 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 they like you know they were in danger at that time. But that was because uh, the people who confronted them at that moment were actually trained people god damn mosquitoes uh, were actually trained people and yeah they they were trained in these type of things not some random thugs with guns like <laughs> like obviously how how what why like they could have <laughs> the no head dragon they could have like um <laughs> hired some better people like what the hell like they're they're like doing these type of stuff like you know criminal activities and they don't have proper <laughs> backup plan or like you know proper people to actually carry this out like they i think they like sent how many five people five or six people to like <laughs> like what five people with guns like oh my, oh my god like yeah like they they needed better preparation like what did they even expect but you know like that's why i'm saying like i, I doubt even if miyuki was like I, I think that even if miyuki was not involved in this it wouldn't have posed any problem for them like honoka amy they themselves would have been able to handle this but yeah like you know like it's better to be safe than sorry i guess so and this is obviously something related to miyuki's brother related to Tatsuya so yeah it was good that she was also involved in this okay and uh, yeah and another thing that I'm quite uh, happy about is like they did not actually skip past the whole match they kind of showed us a little bit you know two little scenes and obviously the last scene where Tatsuya you know, snaps the finger <laughs> and finishes the whole thing uh, that was also shown but obviously like if like you know if, if you want to see the actual proper match you can like def if and if not seen retro say definitely go and do so because this this match was really one of the best things in this anime 
and it, it was fantastic like it was such an enjoyable uh, fight like you know like leon uh, mikihiko and tatsuya them fighting against uh, crimson prince and cardinal george like it, it was one of the best things i've seen and it, it was so enjoyable and like, like yeah like the, that last scene is just the icing on the cake it, it's nothing so still they kind of showed us they kind of you know gave us that little scene and yeah they won so yeah it's all well and good and now the next episode will definitely be mirage bat and two more episodes left so i'm guessing uh i don't know like the next episode will probably be them preparing for the mirage bat event because i think like tatsuya i'm not sure if they're going to show us that but the whole thing of tatsuya giving her i forgot the name of the thing you know the the thing that that's the gifts to miyuki for the mirage bat event i never forgot the name um for better control and i'm not sure if they're going to show us that i'm sure they're going to address that and yeah like it'll probably be something like that and we'll probably get started with the mirage bat event and the final episode will show us the ultimate battle between id and miyuki so like you know like they kind of like uh, not they but <laughs> miyuki kind of said that yeah like like i'll go all out so don't hold back or something like that by the end of it so yeah most probably the 13th episode will be like the final conclusion of this and uh, yeah and I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to show us what happens to the no head dragon after this i doubt they're going to do that they're probably going to address it and that's just it and probably more problems will come because you know the no heads dragon are trying to actually sabotage the mirage bat event now that they have been unable to sabotage the uh, monolith code so yeah they're going to try to do that but unfortunately that <laughs> we know what's going to happen and uh, yeah like i don't know if they're going to show us like what happens to them by the end of it end of it but yeah they're probably going to address it and that's it and this this anime will end with this nine school competition event and uh, yeah and i think like yeah. excuse me just a second let me just take one thing i think reto is going to have another season like it has been announced um Mahoka. i think it was announced i kind of saw it before like this is this is just a spin-off like this the yuto said this is not the actual show so like wait wait i thought that they announced something didn't they oh wait 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 oh they're going to no 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 it's not a sequel they announced a prequel okay oh my god this is really good like i would have loved a sequel but i think this is even better like they they announced that uh a reminiscence arc which is i'm not sure if it's an anime or a movie what this is but like this is going to show what happened before tatsuya and miyuki you know it was as close as we see them now okay okay this is it's kind of like a prequel oh i thought they're going to sh they announced a sequel no they announced a prequel okay it's, it's good I, I think this is even better because it's going to give, give us a lot of background as to what like you know actually have because i i still think there is a lot of things that is still like you know covered under mystery in reto say because they barely even addressed most of the things in the anime i'm not sure about the manga but this this will probably answer a lot of things you know this reminiscence arc i think it's called yeah reminiscence arc or whatever so yeah so i yeah i'm quite looking forward to this one but yeah so yeah guys that was it so that was this uh 
episode this is episode number 11 of mahoka coco no yuto say so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mahoka coco no yuto say so until then goodbye and have a nice day